Hey Pisces, how are you doing? Thank you Lord for allowing us to be here today, you and I. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this beautiful day. You know, time is ticking and everything is moving so fast. You know, um, just make every, every day count for in your life. Also, it is coming into the full moon on the third. Everything, you know, the moon just like makes everything seem so, if you don't know, it's coming to be real. It, it is very real, okay? It can be very, very real, all right? So, um, you may feel everything is going on, but it's for the best. The change is for the best in you. And if you take notice and you know what's for the best for you, then you follow your intuitions. You don't keep questioning. It's when you, see, it's when you force things that are not meant to be. And I'm going to continue to say it. What's meant for you and what is for you will never pass you, whether it's a job, it's a person, it's a thing. It won't pass you. You got to believe in that. It won't pass you. All right? I don't know about you. I'm only speaking about me. Right now in my life, I am in my 50s, and um, I'm going to love every minute of this life of mine. And today is the best day of my life, and you need to tell yourself that. Today is going to be the best day ever of your life. Tell yourself this. You know, I can't waste time. Time is everything. And you need to know it. You need to know how beautiful time is and how precious it is. All right? And value your time. The thing is, you got to value your time. People don't value their time. People take everything for granted. They take life for granted. Right? But you can't take life for granted. You cannot do that. <clears throat> okay? So, as I said, um, if anybody, um, thank you for all those who subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all those who <clears throat> um, give me thumbs up and um, leave comments. Thank you. And if anybody wants to read and know that my readings are only FaceTime. I do not do readings and send them to you to email. That is not what I do, all right? Um, I feel like if you're going to pay your money, then you need to see me and I need to see you. And I only read energies, all right? So I know that when people order readings, people want their readings. They don't want to wait um, until somebody's ready, good and ready to do your reading. I don't know how people can do that, but I don't work like that. Okay? I give you a reading that day, to the day you order it, or the next day. It don't go further than that. All right? Um, these are some new items I was showing you yesterday. These are, aren't they cute? This is the evil eye. And it's in gold. And here's the other one. Okay, so, and what else, um, if you go on to my web and you want to purchase my candles, all the candles that you see on my, that I'm showing you are candles I'm using, right, um, on my altar, everything that you see, it's mine that I use on my altar, but if you go onto my web, you will see a lot more. This is the Black Magic Spellbreaker Candle. If you feel like somebody's doing work on you, things ain't going right, that is the candle to burn. Make sure you know um, how to read the candle as it's burning, the wick, the, the um, fire on it, how big is the flame, It all of that matters. This is the Abundant Prosperity and Healing Wealth Fertility Candle. Okay. This is the Love Yourself Candle. This is the um, Justice Candle. Alright? 
Palo Santo and Sage. The dry form in oils that I put over on my forehead. Um, everybody needs to know when you place an order, the address that you give me is where I'm sending it to. Once it leaves me, it's out of my hand. I send you a tracking number. Take it with the post office, please. This is the walnut, and this is to work with all your um, dark side. You know, we all have a dark side. It ain't a person in the world that don't have it. This is your, um, these are my um, bracelets, my jewelry, all right, that I make. Um, my necklace, the ones I show you, all of that. These are my stones and crystals. There are plenty, thousands of them. If you buy anything from me, please read how to use it because everybody calls me and asks me how to use it. When you buy some, everything is there telling you how to use it. Read. The thing is, you, if you read it, you're going to know how to use it. All right? I think, um, like, I don't know, but um, I got a phone number and I'm the only one to have a phone number there. But for some reason, it's somehow um, the phone number is being misused. All right? You can't go to store in any store and buy some and call the company and say, how do I do this? You don't. Come on, people. Start acting like y'all got some brains. All right? Use your brains. Um, this is the red brick dust, right? And this is to put around your house. Right? This is the um, Pisces Studio Scrub Salt. It's not the same as the Cave Salt. Two different things. This is very spiritual. This works with you. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to try it. It's the best. All right? Um, it, it, it is good for many things in your body. It's Cave Salt. If you got asthma, um, any uh, lung problems, that the detox salt is the best. Um, I also sell herbs in a bag. The herbs in a bag, um, you boil them, you mix them in with your bath water, you put it over you, you take bath in it. If you don't have a tub, you can still use it in your shower, any one of my products, okay? Let's get started with this reading again. The address that you give me is the address that I will send your package, all right? Not only that, if something happens to your package, take it with the post office. I did everything I could. I see your tracking number. I packed your items very, very well. Um, So you got to take it with the post office, man. You don't know how many times... Um, people order stuff, they come to me, They I, I send it to the wrong address, that ain't the address I wanted you to send it to, I didn't receive my package, this and that, that and this, people want to change their address after they put an address that they wanted it sent to, none of this is my problem, what you put there is what I'm going to do, alright, please, 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 please. Um, let's not get crazy. Whatever you don't do nowhere else, please don't do it with me. All right? And I mean that. Whatever you don't do somewhere else, don't do it with me. All right? I'm, I'm, I'm like everybody else. If you order something, you're going to get it. And I'm going to send it to where you said. Whatever the post office do with your orders, please don't take it out on me and start calling me. And what I'm not, I, what you want me to do and what you want me to say, take it with the post office. All right? Complain to them. Get your business taken care of. Please. Shh. Stop it. I babysit my son's two dogs, so I got four dogs. Um, Ginger, stop it. I'm babysitting two dogs, and now my two, and it's a lot. All the way to Monday. Uh, ooh -wee, it could be something else. All day, stop. Don't move. Don't do this. Leave her alone. Leave him alone. Stop doing it. Oh, my God. 
That ain't gonna happen again. I can't deal with that. That can't be happening to me again. All right, Pisces, here we go. By the way, I think I need me a pork chop because. Let me go get a pork chop here. All right. Jonah or uh, Michael, please help. <coughs> help me do this reading. Help me do this reading. Help me do this reading. Jonah or uh, Michael, please help me do this reading. Please help me do this reading. Please help me do this reading. Let me see what I need to see. Let me see what I need to see. Let me see it. Let me see. What I need to see. Let me see what I need to see. Let me see what I need to see. The world. The world been coming out. Two times on your car reading. The world. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. The world Pisces. Okay. The world. And I don't know if you live by the beach. You're coming to the beach. You visit the beach. You do a lot of things. Rituals. Um, by the beach. A lot of people feel like. And I know this for a fact. <coughs> when you do. When you want to do a real a cleansing. Stop it. Go to sleep. When you want to do a ritual, go to the beach. Definitely go to the beach. All right. Go. I don't care if it's the beach, especially a saltwater beach. Oh, my God. The best. Go to the beach and do your ritual. Get in that water. Soak your body in the water. All right. And you will see that things are going to work out good for you. But the world represents... You coming to time loose ends. You've been through a lot, a whole lot, you know. But where you're going to, it's going to be so different. The world is putting it all in your hands saying, now I move on. Now I know what I want. All right. Who are you taking on this journey? I don't know who you're going to do it with. But you got to remember one thing. It's the 21 card, right? It's the last one in the majors. And so, it's a completion. Like, moving on. Like, you've been through all from the beginning of the tower to the end. That means you're ready to go. But who you allow in your world, who do you allow to take this journey with you, that's what's going to really change everything. Stand up. Girl, if you don't stop, I'm going to get her from the seat and beat your butt. Stop it, Ginger. Advancement. Completion. Fulfillment. The opportunity you have is endless. You are guided and protected by the Spirit. This can mean you have mastered many things along the way. And overcome all the obstacles to reach the finish line. Be proud of what you have achieved. You have been through a lot, Pisces, to get to this point in your life. It ain't no turning back. Do you know, 21, the world is like the most important card. That means you're done. Goodbye. Pass. Hello, future. Okay? Tell me more. Tell me more. And the 4th of July is coming. Y'all need to y'all need to look at them fireworks like it's the, the beginning of your life. It's right after the full moon. Are you serious? Do you understand the full moon is on the 3rd and the 4th of July is the next day? Shit, you better pop champagne bottles. 
The Four of Pentacles. You know, you got your money. You you being all tight with your money. You saving your money. You're not spending your money. You 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 know you you're keeping things to yourself. You know, behind closed doors, nobody know what you're working on, what you're doing. All right? You don't want nobody to know nothing. Right? It's like whatever this world is coming to for you, it's like you're saying, and it's about your material gain. It's like I come now to understand that nobody needs to know what I'm doing. Pisces, I'm going to continue to tell you I am super excited about what I'm doing in my life. And it seems like every time, God is so good, that's all I can tell you. God is good. Um, holding on, right? Holding on to your possessions. Um, um, uh, this is like a material gain. You might hold too tight to any outcome or a situation. All right. Energy works best when it can flow and not be trapped. There is a thin line between love and obsession. Oh my God. You need to trust that you are all right, even though you might feel that you aren't. There's a thin line between love and obsession. Right, you got to let go and go with the flow. The world is spinning, honey. You can't control the world. How you gonna control the world and what's going on in the world? You can't control it. You need to let go and stop holding on very tight. All right, don't be so like some people is obsessed. What are you so obsessed over? Why you want to hold on to it? If you hold on to it too tight, you can't let it grow. You can't let it go. And if you let it go, if it's meant to be, it's going to come back. And if it's not meant to be, it won't come back. But you can't let it, you can't hold on to anything or anyone. All right? I keep telling you, life is too precious. Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to keep telling somebody, but I want you and I need you. Don't leave me. I'm begging. Stay, stay. Why do you have to hold on to anything so tight, whether it's in a job, a person? All right? Um, you just like close behind closed doors. All right? You got 50 million locks on your door. All right? Uh, you just standing there. Like, you know, guarding everything you got. Girl, if you drop dead right now, you won't be there to guard a damn thing. All that shit that you guard and all that shit that you want will be in the trash. Do you understand that it's not that damn important? Whatever it is you holding on to is not important, honey. I don't give a fuck what it is. All right? But I'll tell you what. Whatever I, whatever idea I have, yeah, I'm keeping it myself. You're damn right I am. Whatever it is that I got this world in my hand, it's not for everybody to come in and know. You must be tight with what you know and keep it to yourself. Because sometimes, honey, people will be viciously coming at you. All right? But whatever it is, you got the world in your hand, honey. You, you got everything right in your palm of your hand. Now, who you allowed in to tell or what you do, that's your business. But you're looking around like, okay, what am I going to do with this money? What else? You know, well, I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I keep my business to myself till I get everything I said I'm going to get. And it's coming. And then once it gets here, then I got to let it know because my shop is open. Let's go. Let's get the willing. Come on in now. Come on in. You know, I cut the green, the, the green and the yellow ribbon. It's time to make some money. What the hell is going on? All right. But what, what are you holding on 
to is to question, what is it? What, what are we doing here? Again, wish granted, Aquarius. So you got the world and you got the Aquarius. And this is major. Whatever it is that you all in, you may be dealing with an Aquarius, right? Shh, be quiet. You may be dealing with an Aquarius. You may be dealing with a Capricorn, uh, Virgo, or Taurus. You may be dealing with the with a Leo, but hey, you better stop it. Whatever it is that you got going on in your life, honey, somebody wants to be all in. Whatever it is that you asking for, I see a fish. You may be dealing with, um, maybe your birthday's on the borderline, Aquarius and Pisces, February the 19th. Um, but you all in, it's like somebody stepping in, all in, honey. They look at you like you are the shit. It's like they they coming all in. You looking down, honey. Honey, I don't want to look down. They looking down at the water. I'm looking up at the sky, honey. Yes, I don't need to look down. I need to look at up at the sky. Honey, you need to be a, a giraffe, okay? Because somebody is praying for you. Somebody wants you. But it's like you're too close. You're closed off to them. You're not, you know, you, you, you're about your business. You're about what you're gaining. You're not, whatever it is that you ask God for, you get me. But it's somebody here that wants you, honey. And it's like you're not paying them no attention. You're not looking at them. They want you. You're in a whole nother path. And what I want to say, Pisces, is the path that you're going through, it's like you, somebody's all in. Honey, I'm all in. Yeah, I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm, when I tell you I'm all in, I'm 100% one, all in in what I'm doing. I'm giving it everything I got. And I'm going to rise. When I tell you I'm going to rise, I'm, honey, if you think I'm a badass bitch on YouTube, I'm going to be a badass bitch in what I'm doing. It's like, what? What? Girl, I might be having a list of a waiting list just to get on in, honey. What? What? People want to line up just to... What? Yes, because that's how fierce I am. When I tell you, God said do this, and he said and you better do it. I did think twice about it. I jumped in it. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with learning on what I just put my all into. All right? When I tell you I am obsessed with it, it's just like, you know how you get obsessed over, bro? I am obsessed over this new business. But I am in love with my Pisces studio. Do you understand? Honey, I'm in love with you. But I am obsessed with what I'm opening up. It's a baby. It's a brand new baby that I gave birth to. It's like I'm looking at this baby and I'm saying, oh my God, look at you. And I'm ready to feed this baby. I'm ready to nurture this baby. So that this baby can learn to walk and then run and then we're going to take off. All right. You're looking at your life as a seed that you planted. All right. And you got to think how much work that I put into it. You got to have a passion and a love for everything that you do that is for yourself. The same love you give to people that don't deserve it. The same love you give to your kids that some of them don't deserve it. Your family that some of them deserve it. Your job. The same love you need to give to yourself and to what you are giving birth to. The world is yours, honey. What are you bringing into your world? And I'm telling you, I'm going to say it again. God opened up a new path in your life. And you may be obsessed and in love with what you're about to do. But you all in. And yes, I'm all in. I'm all in. And there's somebody here that wants to, that sees you like you they were, honey. This person look at you like you they were, but you close off to them. You may be close and off to somebody, but this person, whoever this Aquarius is, honey, 
hockey. They all in. They want to come. If they ain't, you know, if you ain't talking to them or you not conversate with them or you don't speak to them, honey, they all in, baby. They all in. All right? Because they see you are a superstar. You were born to be a star, Pisces. If you don't know who you are, you need to start Googling and learning who you are and really looking into who you are as a Pisces. Right? That's what you need to do. And then you would know how strong, how beautiful, how intelligent you are, how ambitious you are. You understand? You're dealing with spiritual, the spiritual world. You're not, it's not like a human world. It's not like you sit here and people work for their money and they, you know, they are investor. You are born in the spiritual world. You are huge. Do you understand when you start believing? In your spirituality, that it ain't nothing in this world, in this world that you cannot gain because God is watching over you and He is the door, He is the path, He is the runway to your CEO. Do you understand how serious this is? You gotta get it right. And when you understand how powerful you are as a human being, it ain't nothing in this world that you won't ask him for that he won't give it to you. And I mean nothing. Do you understand or do I got to keep telling you this? You're so powerful. You got the world. You got the four of pinnacles, abundance. And then you got the, 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 the um, 17, the star. It's like, honey, you are born to be the star. This, you, it's like, I don't give a fuck who you running in the runway. I don't care if you running for Miss America, damn it. Miss Universe. I don't care if you opening some thousands of people doing. Do you understand that you are one in a billion? Did you stand out? And if somebody is watching you, looking at you, wanting you, right? Wishing. Wishing. But you are just running that runway, girl. You just, they part of the crowd that's watching you. They are proud of the thousands of people that are watching you, loving you. They part of the, I love Pisces too. But did you give them? Many chances. You may have something brand new coming your way, honey, that it is unbelievable. And you may have somebody that's sitting there watching you, loving you. Or you may come into a whole new thing. Tell me more. Look, didn't I just say this? Celebrity status. You got the world. You got celebrity status. Now, I'm going to say something to you. Celebrity status. Red carpet. I'm going to say it again. Red carpet. No, 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 baby. No. No. Red carpet is for the day. Green carpet is long term. Your green carpet. Your stage is a green carpet. Do you understand? It's a green carpet. The lights are just so bright on you, yellow and white. Okay? That's what it is. It's like the lights on you. It's like when the lights come on you, they see nothing but white and yellow. Right? And you standing on a green carpet, don't get it twisted and fucked up. Not the red carpet. The green carpet. You don't need the red and the gold. No, 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 no. You need that green and that yellow carpet. That's the carpet you need. People are acknowledging you. People see you around the world, nationwide, baby. What? All right? You got the world in your hand and you got the... It's like Pisces. It's like each one of us are holding each other's hand from all different nationalities. Around the whole universe, around the whole world. Pisces holding each other's hands. 
It's like we form a rain of holding each other's hand. And we're standing powerful and strong on stage, honey, on that green carpet. Earning many, 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 many awards. And many doors are opening up. You can't even count the doors that God is saying. Go through them doors, my love. Don't be afraid. How can you be afraid? You got to go through the doors. Let me tell you, Pisces. You know, man, you know how many times I have been afraid to let go of something that I know wasn't right for me. But I was so afraid to let it go. But one thing, uh, one thing that I wasn't afraid was to be hurt, was to be used, was to be abused, abandoned, mistreated. I wasn't afraid of that because that's what I was used to. But you afraid to take a chance on yourself? You got to be out of your mind. You got the king of swords, Pisces. Again, this, this Aquarius is showing up twice in your reading. This person don't know what to damn do with you. This person, when you get an Aquarius in your life, right, and they don't want to open up to you, and they don't want to value you, right? And they don't want to give to you. Then they wind up looking at you like the rest of the people. All right? This person can be a speaker, can be a role model, can be um, working in the military, in the service, right? Working for the government, um, have a state job, right? Working in labs, all right? Teachers, right? Um... In, uh, in the law, right? This person is loved by many, right? But when it comes to you, they don't know how to keep you, right? Your communication, their communication is two different things. They think that you're all over the place. They look at you weird, right? Um, but they like to have you, right? Right? They don't like to be settled. They don't like to be still. Right? But they want to be with you. Right? They like to be active. They like to be at parties. They love being in crowds. They just love being where it's action going. But also they're loners. They lay back. Right? But I need a person to know what they want. I don't need a person that's like this, this person, um, how can you be with an air sign and you a water sign? How can you grow with air when you feel love and this person is flighty all over the place? You can't, it just doesn't mix. <laughs> Excuse me, Pisces. It doesn't mix and it doesn't matches you. Right? And they have you all in your head. Because you know why? Because that's how they are. You are here. They are here, girl. They will switch you, have you here and there. You be all fucking confused. You won't even know which way to go. Right? But they're watching you. They want you. They can be very sexy. Oh, my God. Yes, honey. They are the best lovers you will meet in your life. In bed, honey, they would tear you out. What? It's like, Pisces, they say we some badass, badass lovers. You you get with an air sign, honey, you might be making, uh, you might be making babies, okay? Because you might be seeing uh, fireworks in that bedroom with this person. But this person is too closed off, right? And they think that you're closed off. They think that you're secretive. They don't know you mysterious to them. All right? But they're watching you. All right? They want you. But your communication, their communication, very weird. Right? Look at this. They want love with you. Honey, this man wishes to be in love with you. They want you. They want you to be a family with them. They want to be with you. I don't understand how somebody can want you. But don't know how to keep you.
you. How can you want a Pisces but don't know how to keep a Pisces? How can you say, this is what I want, but you don't know how to keep it? And you know why you don't know how to keep it? Because you worry about too much about what, how people think and what you tell them about a Pisces. You worry about what your family think, what people on the street think, because you think that people look up to them. They think that people look up to them and that you made them look bad. Well, then what the fuck are you looking at a Pisces for? If you want to live your family and friends and so-called friends that you consider your so-called family, you don't have no room for no Pisces because Pisces would never put their family or friends over you, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, ever. Pisces will love you no matter what and can't nobody tell a Pisces who to love and who not to love. But when it comes to these air signs, they worry about how, what people think about them, right? Yeah, it's like they stand on a status of, I need respect. And Pisces would not disrespect me. Pisces won't make me look like a fool in other people's eyes. Well, then that's why they are alone. And the other people that they want to respect so much have somebody else. Right? The first thing they tell you is I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna deal with that when my friends deal with. Listen to me, but well, then stay alone, damn it. Cause everybody has a problem. It ain't a person in the world, it ain't a friend that they got that you can tell me that their friends don't go through problems with their girlfriend, their wife, their mistress, or whoever they fucking. Okay? That's a damn lie. But Pisces wanna act like they gotta give somebody this show. Well, keep giving somebody the show. That's why you buy your damn self. All right? At the end of the day, you look at yourself while everybody's enjoying their life. Right? And you're not with a Pisces. Honey, you, you had the best thing you could ever get. I mean, you had the best thing. I'm going to tell you something. It ain't none of their friends. Not, they can run the world trying to look for another. You would never find you. And no one else. Okay? You know why? Because they can't find a fool, a damn fool that you was for them. A fool that you was. All right? A damn fool, because that's what we was, fools to these people. But now they want to watch us. Stay to yourself like you look like you're doing. All right? I um, want to sit there and act, show people like, they show people like they're happy. All right? Oh, I'm happy and, oh, I'm going to go see this one and screw this one and screw that and no good and damn well inside of them, uh-uh. Even when they screwing somebody, they thinking of you. Yeah, that's how they do it. They looking right in the bitch's face talking about, oh, I'm, I'm screwing Lisa, I'm screwing Lisa. No, baby, you're not screwing Lisa. You're screwing everybody else. But you ain't screwing Lisa. Because if you're sticking in Lisa again, God is coming down here slapping me in my face and saying, do it. I ain't a fool no more for you. Uh-uh, uh-uh, fool me twice. I'm not saying fool me twice. I think I was fooled like thousands of times with this person. Okay, and I can't do it again. Uh-uh. So this person it, it, like looks at you like, honey, they go from the 6 to the 10. I mean, you may be dealing with um a Leo, um, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Aquarius, big time, um, uh, uh, fire sign, air Sagittarius, or Leo. Uh, um, again, we showing up with this um, Aquarius standing out like crazy, and then uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. And the thing about this is, I see this person. It's like I want Pisces. I want Pisces, my world. But in the middle of your reading, you got an Aquarius here, an air sign here, and that's your reading. Like, you got this person going crazy, and if you ain't dealing with this person, trust me when I tell you, they feeling your ass. You may not be seeing them, but they damn sure feeling you, and you may be feeling their energy, or if you're dealing with somebody, this person sees you like a celebrity status. Like, they watching you and they want everything with you. But it's like, they looking at you, I'm, they, you famous, but they don't know how to keep you. 
All right, this person don't know. I, I, I see, I see everything in here, every sign in here, but it's like you only got you got the ten of cups. Is it, is it, this person has a little bit of everything in them? Okay, a little bit of every sign in them. You can't even say they all in their feelings, they all in their emotion. But what I do, what I can say is. You got um, a lot of air here, okay? Tell me more. Look at this. The Three of Pentacles wanted to work with you. Pisces, you got the world. You're standing on stage. Maybe you're a musician. Maybe you're a speaker. Maybe you have a YouTube. Maybe you have a um, TikTok, Instagram. Um, uh, maybe you speak on stage at work. Maybe you're a supervisor. But whatever it is, maybe you into music. Okay? A promoter, a director. Maybe you're on stage performing. But whatever it is, you got the world. And you're going to be coming in and somebody here wants to um, be, wants you to be a part of what they're doing. It's like a, 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 a job or promotion. Or working together with someone else, okay, on a project. Um, you know, you coming, you coming together with what you know. They coming together with what they know, and y'all um, working together. You know, like they say, if we can put our hands together, um, things can work out. You know, things will be easier um, when everybody's coming in with their own opinions. Um, how to do stuff, all right, sitting at a table, making something work out, all right, um, put music, or practicing something, you know, like, uh, is something here that is some type of, um, meeting or a project that you're going to be working with several people, all right, bringing your ideas, their ideas coming together, making it all happen, Tell me more about this King of Swords. Tell me more. It's like you're focusing on your career, your business, right? Your upcoming. Uh, you got the Emperor. Oh, my God. Under this King of Swords, the Emperor. Again, I'm going to say it again. This King of Swords is fierce. This King of Swords is not playing. All right? This King of Swords is like the daddy of all kings. Like, I'm here, girl. Do you understand? They want you to know that they are there. They are, do you understand? This person is fresh so clean, clean so fresh. I'm clean as fresh. You know, I'm like real, real clean. What's up? Right? This person is so stuck. It's like, it's like this person don't know. You know, because he didn't know how to give you, you say, I got to go. I'll get my own shit. But this person's all in his head. This person is a big... People look at this person like he's huge. All right? Like he's the president. This person is so, so smart. So ambitious. Have money, but don't know how to let it go. Very fire. Very creative. Right? The boss, the COE, running the show. All right? A leader. A natural born leader. He ain't got to work hard to lead whatever he's doing. But he's sitting there looking directly at you. He's, I want you. Damn it. I want you. Do you understand? I want you. That's what they're telling you. It's like, yeah, I might have not did all this right by you, but I want you. It's like, honey, Pisces, you definitely, somebody's definitely got their eyes on you. Somebody definitely wants you. This person, you might have known this person or you may be coming into this person. This person is not a giver. He's not a person that's going to get it everybody, honey. All right? He ain't giving out like, here, take the money. Money's jumping out of, no. He got to make sure who he's giving it to. He's got, but he's smart as fuck. All right? Tell me more about this person. The will of fortune. You got two tens here. Like Pisces, I don't know, but somebody here. Oh my God, somebody wants you so bad. They moving towards you. And they saying, I'm going for you. I want you. I'm going to have you. 
I don't care if I got to give you the world in your hand. You got the world. Listen to me. You started with the world. Your main reading is this king of swords, this air sign. And then you got the will of fortune. Every day you better go play the pickets. You better go do something. Because the will is spinning towards you, for you. But the main thing is saying you don't control the will. Let it go. Let it flow. If you just let things flow. And you stop trying to control shit, right? And stop trying to hold on to shit so tight, you'll get everything you want. I don't know if somebody get a new car, you're traveling, you're going somewhere, but whatever it is, whatever is not for you is going to fall off of you. And whatever is meant for you will stay with you. Do you understand? You, it's, it's, it's no ifs, buts, maybe so. Whatever it is, it's going to be. And somebody said, I want you. This Aquarius said, I want you. I want the family with you. I want to move forward with you. I want to give you the world. All right? It's somebody here that wants to give it all to you. And it's you. They're very particular about who they want to make the queen, the first lady in their life. They might have tasted many pussies. But you damn got the one they want, damn it. You got the crown that sit on their dick. Perfect. They got that shoe, that, that glass shoe that fits only you and only you. And they want to make it all to you. And make it all up to you. Do you understand? You are rare, Pisces. You are a piece of jewelry. You are a diamond. You are a crystal. You are a pearl, honey. They cannot duplicate you even if they wanted to. Pisces, if you need a reading, get it from me or somebody else. Whoa, 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 baby. I'll talk to you later.